It was only after 6.30 in the morning or daybreak when a, vic when a victim emerged from hiding after she had called 911. Our officers responded and it was at that time that through a significant, that significant key witness, we confirmed more details about Gabriel Wartman. This included the fact that he was in possession of a fully marked an equipped replica RCMP vehicle. RCMP mapping out the path they believe the Nova Scotia shooter took during a 13-hour rampage which left 22 victims across the province. New details emerging now include confirmation from police that the incident began with a confrontation between the shooter and a romantic partner. The individual is a female and that female was in a relationship over a course of period of time uh, with the gunman. Um, that female did escape, and that female, as I indi indicated, had uh, hid in the woods. Police were called to Port Pick just before 10.30 Saturday night. Arriving officers found a man leaving the area with a gunshot wound. He told them he was shot while driving by someone in a passing car. The shooter was in what looked like a police vehicle heading to Port Pick Beach. With one road in and out of the community, police established a four-kilometer perimeter and got to work. You know, multiple victims, multiple structure fires... Um, we were containing that area and we were checking for any survivors. We were still checking for um, any witnesses. We were looking for the suspect. It was about eight hours later when Wartman's girlfriend emerged from hiding and warned police that he was wearing a police uniform and driving what looked like a police car. Things escalated over the next hours as officers learned the gunmen had slipped their search area and more victims were found in Wentworth, 60 kilometers north. After that, the shooter moved south. A witness described that the suspect had pulled over one of the vehicles and had shot one of the drivers. I've been a police officer for almost 30 years now, and I can't imagine any more uh, horrific uh, set of circumstances uh, when you're trying to search for someone that looks like you. It was just before 11 a.m. and Constable Chad Morrison was waiting to meet Constable Heidi Stevenson near a highway intersection in Shubenacadie. Morrison saw a police cruiser approaching. He thought it was his fellow Mountie. The gunman pulled up beside Constable Morrison and immediately opened fire. Constable Morrison received several gunshot wounds and he began to retreat from the area, driving his vehicle away from the scene. Morrison headed north, calling for help. Meanwhile, Wartman headed south in the fake cop car. That's when he ran into Constable Stevenson. Both vehicles collided head-on. Constable Stevenson engaged the gunman. The gunman took Constable's, Constable Stevenson's life. He also took Constable Stevenson's issued sidearm and her magazines. The gunman set both cars on fire, killing a passerby who stopped and stealing her vehicle. He continued to another home east of the highway, taking another life before changing his clothes and car again. It was around 11.30 a.m., 13 hours after it all began, Wartman pulled into a gas station at Enfield. Police arrived soon after. That's where he would be shot and killed by police. Wartman left multiple crime scenes, 22 dead and three others wounded. There's still many more details to report. Police say the shooter had at least one pistol and one long gun on him during the rampage, some of which may have been acquired from the United States. RCMP also say they are aware that Wartman had at least three replica police cruisers registered to his name, two at his port pick home and one in Halifax. But during the incident, he was driving a fourth unregistered, unplated replica RCMP car, complete with RCMP decals and light bar. It's also not clear how Wartman slipped the perimeter established by police on Saturday night, whether he escaped before it was established or if he somehow got out through the night. RCMP are asking for tips from the public to try and fill in that gap. And finally, while officers say the incident did begin with a confrontation between Wartman and his romantic partner, it's not clear if that was the spark that started it or if this attack was premeditated. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.